If you're looking for the best password manager to protect you from all those hackers and ninjas trying to get into your account, you are watching the right video. My name is Marcus and I will be your guide. I will be your protector like in a game. So uh, before we start, I'm going to talk to you about uh, what this video is going to be like actually about. I will talk about every single password manager and I will talk to you about the differences. The top two are those that I recommend the most, but this really depends what do you actually need and expect from password manager. And let's just start and you will enjoy this video. I really believe in that. So we are right here in Google Chrome. The first one is a LastPass. LastPass is a trash. Don't use it straight away. Fire Kobe O'Brien like uh, that's also for free points. And why, why you shouldn't use it? Not only because the LastPass design looks like 2008 from the UX and UI's perspective, user experience and user interface. Okay, but you can say, Marcus, I love 2008 design. I'm saying, okay, you can use it, my friend. I don't care, but this is not all. When you will click here on an item, you get like more items here that you can do. And when you click here on that, you want to actually add a password. It feels clumsy. The, it feels like, oh my God, really? There is no other browser than Internet Explorer. Ah, you know, do you, do you get me? So yeah, this is like 2008 YouTube. And okay, you can say, okay, we can accept the design of LastPass. We can even accept that they had data breaches in the past. Okay, but the pricing, mamma mia, mucho gracias, what is this? Yes, thumbs up for free account. Then you get like also 30 day trial of premium, but there are much better options comparing to LastPass and that's like NordVPN or even a Bitwarden are much better comparing to LastPass when we talk about the free account. Then you're going to have the premium that's like uh, 290 euro, but that's free $50. So this monthly pricing is built annually. You need to pay for a year. And this is another thing why they don't write it down directly in a pricing plan that's for a year. So, but yes, you got one gigabyte on the encrypted file storage. Then you get a for family, which is like 450, 480. 450 a month also uh, built annually and that's okay so last pass is okay ish thumbs up also for quality uh, extension on chrome and others it works really well for every single device but still pricing i put it on the last place only because of the design and it's still not updated and year by year they are increasing the price so LastPass is a mech from me. You can use it, but I don't recommend it. Now, Keeper. And I want to say I'm not paid by any of these tools, guys. I just love making this video and I love making you laugh if you're lucky, if you're cringing. Sorry. But you know, you know what it is. So yeah, Keeper is expensive. So damn expensive. Mamma mia. I'm like, who can use Keeper when it's so expensive? So yes, you got the Max Bundle, which is like Keeper, Unlimited Password Manager, Bridge Watch, Dark Web Monitoring, Keeper Chat, Private Messenger, Secure File Storage for $6 per month. That's like $72. That's like Family Bundle, right? And then for Family, it's even more expensive. And I mean, yes, you can say that the Keeper Password Manager would be like enough. That should be the Bridge Watch. You get also for one password on normal version, Bitboard and two, and you don't have to actually pay uh, $72 annually. So I put it on the top five keeper security only because the pricing. Yes, and also the design is okay ish. You could create new record, shared follow payment card, but again, it's okay, but still not the best. And even if I could compare it to LastPass, like th those designs are not pretty. Now you can say, oh, I'm not here for the design, but you're going to use it a lot. You know, when you're going to add passwords and everything, but there is a, like, there is advantage in LastPass comparing to Keeper security is that when you would click plus here, you can actually add like server or Wi-Fi password. Look at this, you know? So that's, that's advantage to LastPass comparing to Keeper security, but still the pricing is really expensive. So this is the first thing. And now, but yes, there is one huge advantage in Keeper that it actually offers you really great uh, Chrome extension and other extensions on mobile that you can actually use. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now to go even further to NordPass, NordPass is the next one that's like top four right now. Uh, they offer you a free account. So this is huge even comparing to Keeper security because Keeper security offers you only a uh, 30 day free trial, but 
NordPass is only for one device if you would choose it. So NordPass is like meh, really one device, what I'm going to do with one device, my friend. I need something for everything. So you would have to start paying it. It's like 250 a month in, in dollars in euros, 212, right? So it's okay. But what I really like is how it feels to use it. You would come here to password and all items you can simply add item. And even right now, this is much prettier comparing to Keeper or LastPass, how it feels to use it. Credit cards, add a credit card. But still, this is like top four only because it's not the best in my opinion. And yes, they got uh, not a lot of users and it's like nearly four stars from the review standpoint. And plenty of people are saying they have problems with it, but it's okay. If you want to test something out, NordPass is okay. It's nothing like, God damn, I need to use this. No, 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 no. It's okay. Now, to go in further, but guys, okay, every single uh, password manager I'm showing you right now, they're all protected by H256 encryption. You know, they're like nothing, uh, like they're not going to be, they're not bad, right? The next one is a dash lane. Dash lane uh, is on the top three list uh, because. Okay, you got free account as the last pass, as a Nord pass, but only one device. That's a disadvantage. Premium is free, 33. And what they offer, I put it on the third place because they offer you actually monthly billing. So you don't have to actually pay for a year. So that's like $4, dark web monitoring, alerts, VPN, unlimited devices, and monthly billing. And like, let's compare it to uh, like, I don't know, Keeper. Keeper offers you $6 for the bridge watch, right? This costs you four dollars also last pass i don't even going to compare it to last pass because last pass the quality of the design is like what what is this now to go even further yes the family is invited other for five people but when you would go here the dashline application is okay with the passwords with the add new and it feels good to use it it's fast it's quick and it's not laggy but it's it's nearly three stars, like it got three stars and like the reviews are not great. And why, why is it? Because many people are saying that they were losing passwords for some reason. You can also read it by yourself on Reddit and also in the Chrome extension and other extensions and also how it feels to actually use Dashlane. So Dashlane, I put it there uh, because the pricing is monthly on a top three list and the top two uh, so yeah, top three list, dash line, it's okay, it's not amazing, and that's pretty much it. Use it for your own risk. This is how would I uh, describe dash lane based on the reviews that are getting in right now for the past, I don't know, few months. Now, the next one is 1Password. One 1Password one is a really great tool, but it got some disadvantages. Mainly, it got disadvantage of using it with extension. When I would show you right here, it got really bad stars, one of the worst reviews, only because I tested it by myself. The biggest mm, disadvantage with 1Password was that when I installed it, it was bugging like hell. So I had to uninstall the extension, install it, uninstall it, install it again, and it didn't feel great, you know, because it didn't work. And I was really, really like frustrated with it. So... This is the biggest disadvantage in one password, in my opinion. But it got a huge advantage that is not really um, expensive. Yes, it got another disadvantage that it actually uh, doesn't offer you a free account only per month uh, on annually. So you get uh, like only for 14 days free trial. So that's okay. But the logins, this is like why I put it to the top two because the, to every single competition, it got the most pictures design, not even the watchtower with the compromised website, use password, weak passwords, but just click plus here and you can simply add passport server, like wireless router and how it feels to see this comparing to last pass this, right? Where is it? You know, <laughs> do you see what I see? So do you feel what I feel? How Ellen Watts would say. Now, you can see it right here. Mm. So it feels great, the usage is great, but the extension, that's when it's missing. And if they could actually approve the extension, I'd be really happy for it. And so this is pretty much it. One password, great, but 
not so okay, not so good extension not so it doesn't work like well but plenty of logins so if you need like i don't know uh with wireless password server email account driver license it can work great and the best one right now on the market there is is bitwarden bitwarden is like dominating everyone and i will explain why and it's hard to compete and comparing others to this but this is going to be fun so the main thing that i like see is that okay it got free account and it's like enough for you you don't have to actually upgrade and pay for anything it's open source and it's enough the how it feels to use it the bitwarden is beautiful but yes it's not that like uh, expanded as one password with a wi-fi password and everything so i could give you plus secure node or i don't know login username name password then i just add here the url and i can add here the new url simple as that and add plenty of things like i'm not paid by bitwarden but after this video i'm going to use and add like every single password to bitwarden and pay even for the premium account and let me explain why in premium account you get also one gigabyte of encrypted file storage and you're gonna have it for ten dollars a year comparing to every single competition is cheap but the quality is even better because if you would go to the like the stars what they actually offer with it they, it got five stars on extensions the mobile works really great like the quality of the app is also amazing it's fast the design is not that great comparing to one password but comparing to the others it's amazing and for all the levels it's actually dominating everyone because do you know what Bitboard and choose as a strategy in the past every single company was um, increasing the prices year by year when we talk about uh, how much it costed but Bitwarden is different they are going to like, okay we are going to give you the really uh, huge value it's open source but cheap so yeah so to summarize this whole video and to say what i want to say last pass got the worst design yes it got quality uh, extension and it's okay but still i wouldn't personally use it because the bitwarden is much better if three years back wouldn't be here bitwarden i would put last pass really further now keeper is okay also it feels okay to use it it's nothing like god damn i need to use that but it's really expensive to go even further to nordpass nordpass uh, offers you free account and premium account and it's also okay but it's not really that well known but it feels good again nothing amazing that dash lane also free account with one device but a huge advantage that it actually offers you monthly billing that you don't have to pay yearly but again the quality of the uh, like the extension is not that great and in the past it was much better now comparing to the even one password one password is really great from the design standpoint and how it actually feels to use that but again the extension lacks value and lacks the quality but Bitwarden is winning on every single department. The only one which is missing uh, is what you can actually get from the application. Comparing to one pass where you can, or last pass where you can add uh, multiple things like a login, etc. It's yep, not that great, but still top one, winning it. If you're gonna choose free account, it's enough. Many people don't even need a premium account, but they're upgrading so they can actually support the creator of Bitwarden. So yeah, thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and have a great day and see ya. Goodbye.